Hey guys, this is uh, Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be going over how we can uh, spot the next big winners in the market using volume clues. So, um, yeah, first I'm going to be going over um, Snapchat. So let's look at Snapchat back in uh, 2020. So notice how it was just consolidating here for almost an entire year, and then we finally break out, right? And now we're just consolidating again, and then we make a another breakout here uh, let me just draw a trend red line here so uh, yeah consolidating here and then big breakout here um, you guys noting do you guys know anything uh, significant about the volume here look at the volume bar on this candle right look at the volume bar um, any of the bars before right this volume bar is a skyscraper compared to the other uh, bars when you see a uh, skyscraper volume, it is almost always a sign that institutions are are loading into this thing. Hedge funds are uh, rushing into, uh, or they're trying to beat each other into buying this thing, right? And this is what forms big volume bars like this one. Um, me buying or any retail buying cannot um, cause this sort of volume. Um, this volume can only be... Uh, caused by um, big institutions buying the stock up. And that's exactly what happened here for Snapchat, right? So institutions were loading up. It was going up for like three days in a row. Now it's getting extended here. So now you want to wait for some sort of flag or consolidation. And that's exactly what Snapchat does, right? It's tightening up, tightening up. And then here it breaks out and that would be a good entry. But um, yeah, the point of this video is to uh, basically the concept of big volume bars so big gap up big volume that means that means possibly look to buy the stock um there's a lot of strong stocks in the market but the uh, but the names that i pay the most attention to um are the ones with the big catalyst that have a big or that had a big catalyst that had big volume and had a big price change right so i'm gonna look for big gap ups with big volume because that is again almost always a sign that institutions are loading up so um, yeah, Snapchat had a really nice run in 2020. It went from all the way from 34. Went from 34 to $83, right? So that's a, almost 138% right there. So that's uh, so this is why I look for big volume bars because it can be clues for, next, uh, for the next uh, big winner in the market. And you don't typically want to buy right on the start of the move you typically want wanted to let it run up and then consolidate a little bit and then buy on the break so this would be the correct entry here so it ran up consolidating and then it breaks out here you can place your stop loss uh, below like a support level so around 38.5 entry around 40 41.5 so yeah snapchat is one good example Another example is uh, Pinterest. So Pinterest again, this was also in 2020. Um, so again, before before this big volume bar, Pinterest was just consolidating between this range. And then it has a big bar. This was either from earnings report or catalyst or some sort of catalyst. It really doesn't matter. All I care about is a big gap up and then a big uh, uh, a big uh, skyscraper volume bar so those are the two things that i look for if both of those are there then i just want to wait for the stock to consolidate so right here it's consolidating consolidating tightening up and then here's the breakout day right and that's where i want to buy and uh, yeah from there pinterest makes a pretty big move here so it goes all the way from so it starts out around 34 and then it goes all the way to 90 dollars pretty much and that's like 161 percent in just a couple of months so again this is why you want to look for this type of volume and uh, so th this works the best in bull markets um it does work in bear markets as well but um yeah it, it's something that you definitely want to focus on for bull markets so there's a lot of strong names in bull markets right almost everything's going up but if you want to get the best return you want you you need to be in the stocks that institutions are buying up and this strategy and, and the way to do that is by looking at like <clears throat> by looking for volume clues such as uh, skyscraper volume on an earnings report or some sort of catalyst uh, let's just go through a few more examples 
All right, so UPST. This was a really big winner, and now the stock's pretty much dead. But um, yeah, so first, this was the first big uh, volume bar, big move, right? And then just consolidating, and then this one didn't uh, work out too well. Or it, yeah, it was it was just pretty much consolidating. It didn't end up breaking out until the second uh, uh, big move, right? So again, big skyscraper volume here. Look at the bar. Look at the bars before this, and look at this bar, right? Huge bar here, big gap up, and this is where the move basically starts for UPST. So um, I don't want to be buying exactly when it's breaking out. I want to wait for it to break out here, let it run up a little bit, and then consolidate, and then uh, create create some sort of flag here. So this was a nice flag here, actually. So nice tightening up here and then here I want to be buying and then yeah just right away up and uh, you can use a 10 day moving average or 20 day moving average to uh, basically trail your stop loss and keep moving it up and up uh, that way you're not giving too much profit back and then uh, yeah both it firm. firm was also another big winner in 21 um, so this was the first big gap up Look at the volume bar here. Look at the volume bars before that, right? Huge volume. And then uh, another big gap up here. And then again, uh, this one was more choppy here than the rest. It was, chopping, or it was chopping around for quite some time. And then it created a nice uh, breakout bar here, right? Notice this downtrend. And then on this day, big volume again. And this one just takes off from there. And again, big volume on that big breakout day. So. That's also something that you want to look out for. Let's do Robux actually. So Robux is a great example. Um, so support over here, resistance around the, this area, right? It's consolidating before, and then it has a re uh, really nice earnings report. Huge gap up, right? huge volume look at the volume before look at the volume there that's institutions buying right there so you want to be paying attention to it right there and then this one is uh, it's a more subtle breakup but uh, first day it stops out around 110 and then here it stops out, stops out again around 110 and then on this day it finally breaks that and that's the day that you want to be uh, buying it so this could be uh, a really nice uh, quick swing trade so it goes from 110 to 141 in just a couple of days so that's like 20 28 percent right there so that this would have been a really good option swing trade um, and uh, so typically for these trades I like to play uh, shares or I like to go for uh, longer option calls like leaps so for pins and snap those ones would have been uh, those ones would have been great leap play so you buy over here for a leap and then you just hold on to it and then you can use a 10 day or 20 day moving average uh, 10 day or 20 day moving average um, just to move your stop loss up and that way you're not giving too much profits back and then um, yeah so for UPST this one was also good it would have been like a good two months out or three months out so in play for a firm um, this one, um, this one was a bit choppier, so you have to be more careful about this one. But um, again, this one would have also worked out just a bit more choppier. Um, for this one, this one would have been a good one month play. Um, but <clears throat> in general, I like to go, like I said before, I like to go out at least like a year, so like a leap, or I like to play shares. So this one, um, it would have worked out initially, but then it would have failed. So I probably would have gone out for a break even, um, that worst case. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, yeah, feel free to uh, DM me on Discord for any questions. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you.